in the uh, benefit of people being able to obtain their membership number. We will be providing an instruction on how things work and why they work as part of the background. In addition to obviously the positive law, because it's fairly dry, but this is the stuff that you'll start to see on UK, um, university, full stop, UKD.info. But I'm, I'm now going to explain something to you about the membership number. Yes, people can ultimately go about their business and if they want to um, be funny, they can create <clears throat> and they can abuse this. But the strength of telling you this is the strength of people knowing. So here's the thing. If you go to any of the key UKD websites like the globe-union.org, you will find that there is a way to access UKD time. So the site is globe, G-L-O-B-E hyphen union.org. You go there and you'll see that UKD time is a link. And if you go to UKD time, you'll see that there's a Roman time converter, which will convert any time from 10,000 BCE to 2,200. So if you have a father, a brother, a sister, an aunt, a great aunt, great aunt, a grandfather or anyone that has ever lived and you wish to pay homage to them in recognising that they have a membership number and you wish to generate a membership number, when you put in the Roman date and time uh, that you were born, a number will be produced as well as the formal date as well as the day uh, under the Akkadian time. Well, that is a legitimate membership number because what Eucadia has done is for every second of every day. Remember, the Roman cult has claimed time. That's part of their, their game. They claim time and control time. So I can think of no better example that the Roman cult no longer has control, that its spells are null and that the veil has lifted, is that if you wish to obtain your membership number simply, without having to go to a central point and register, you can obtain that through that system. On the proviso, and I ask that uh, if you're working with a group of your friends and people that you collect that information up and at least provide that to the member at one-heaven.org so that we can at least keep some central records. <clears throat> now I know that sounds pretty loose, but as I said to you, if we're shifting from a, a, a model of a hierarchy, which can be crushed at some point, uh, this is a way of getting membership numbers simply and easily. And what's more, we will make uh, public the uh, tables of Eucadia time so that people can also obtain those so that if one day I cease to exist, which will obviously happen one day, and the websites may cease to exist, that collectively people can continue to go on. So that's a, another long-winded answer, I'm sorry, but that's the quickest and simplest way for people to get their membership number. Is the addendum to the ecclesiastical deed poll already available? The, okay, what I meant was, if you're talking about the follow-up, the follow-up instructions on next steps is not uh, up on the system yet, uh, but it will be, and certainly hopefully by the next conference call next week, we can start to walk you through and refer you to the actual documents. Um, hopefully, Qatar 432, um, that's what we, um, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Guest 26 says, uh, Frank, can the deed poll for normal bills, or would it be better to just accept the bill for value of it? Uh, and so, would you send the CEO? Um, Okay, I know people, and, it, and it's been something, people particularly with driving, driving down the road, you get pulled over, get a, a getting a citation, and you know people say, that's where I draw the line. Um, it's up to you. Uh, at some point, you need to stand up. If you, if you want to start drawing the line at citations and start moving on that, that's fine. Other people might have really, really serious things, like serious criminal time, things against them. It's entirely up to you where you draw the line. But just know that uh, the challenge is not only to, to change from being a slave mind, but to stand up and, and act in a respectful manner representing the divine. So if you, if, if, if you feel that that's where you draw the line and you start, that's entirely up to you. I hope I answered that question for your guest 26. 
Uh, guest 69 says, Frank, I've signed the driver's licence application and signature cards as all rights reserved by trustee grantor for special deposit. Uh, can I use copy of that up? And the ID is proof of trust. Okay, you build up proof of trust from a number of things, and that's one of them, and I quite like that, so thank you for that. Um, another is on the front of your envelopes, you put trust recipient number and the, and the number, and then the words care of, not C-O, but care of, and then the address. So you're identifying that the trust recipient being another way of saying the trust corpus is, is sending uh, mail through. Uh, it's about using the number and recognising that the system claims your name. The system is being exposed as a fraud every time you use that number and that the system ultimately will be held account for the fraud by their own iniquity. But what you want to do is avoid using your name in the actions against the system, which is a flip. If you use your name, then effectively you're admitting to operating under their SESTA KV. So this is why the trust number and the language is important. So long as you're doing that constantly, all of this is becoming proof. I wouldn't rest on one thing and say that's proof. So guess 69, I hope that answers your question. Who knows truth? Question, should you do a deed poll whether or not you are under the gun? <coughs> Well, a deed poll is a way of responding, but you can start acting as the trustee that you are without using a deed poll. But the deed poll ultimately is a is a really strong way of uh, of st stating a claim. Um, so, yeah, I don't suggest to anyone who is uh, finding that everything's peaceful at the moment um, to start. Uh, poking the bear in the eye, but if you want to um, if you want to start changing, then it's all these little things about using the trust number. So when you're sending mail, it's a trust number. Over time, you're actually proving that you are a trust. It's exactly the same as the deed poll, uh, but less controversial. So again, it's entirely up to you. Um, at some point, though, you have to draw a line and, and realise that even though life might be running swimmingly, the SESTA KVs have not been closed. Anything you're getting is still a benefit through those SESTA KVs and um, you need to have them collapsed if you really are going to have any right. So <clears throat> you can start establishing your role as a trustee from everything, the way you sign documents, the way you send things, the use of your trust, the fact that you're a trustee, the registration of the EIN SS4, you can do all those things uh, without having to uh, do the deed poll. Yes, you can. Sorry, my answers are a bit long. I apologise. I'm trying to get through them. Um, okay. Uh, should I say authorised as opposed to sign? Authorised, yes. Yes, yes, you know. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I would I would also read guest sixty nine positive law a bit more too. That would help. Um, I wonder if any power has claimed numbers. Uh, look, we've got a woman in Spain that claimed the sun, so wouldn't wouldn't surprise me that claimed everything else. They've claimed your soul, so why wouldn't they claim numbers? Yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, uh, what is the reason for the names that come with the number? Uh, have a look at the time for that. Uh, that's your Cadian time, and we will go through that again in another call, but we'll run out of time. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit of a, a pun. We'll be running out of time, so I'll have to come back to that. All right, there's a question on Canon 2407 about... 440 hertz and 432. Uh, I would like that, call, that that question from guest 65 to be deferred to the next call on uh, Tuesday. So there's a call on a on a Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's uh, Eucadian uh, uh, divine, I should say, divine water and uh, food and um, positive changes that people are making as opposed to talking about the law. 
And on that call, I'll ask Brian Collins to answer the question, uh, why does Canon 2407 say that uh, anyone that promotes 440 hertz uh, against 432 must be disbanded? But I won't answer that now because he, uh, Brian will be able to give you that in a much stronger way. There is a very strong reason for it. It has to relate to the natural harmonics of the world, and 440 is a deliberate dissonance. But I will let them explain that properly. I will just fudge it and, and, uh, and not make it right. So that question will be answered next Tuesday. Uh, I've got some questions that have come through on the email, so let me just quickly ask. I'm going to answer the next few questions, and then I'm going to have to call it a night for me, but I've got about another five minutes to answer as many more questions as I can, and then we'll stop. Okay, Frank, this is a question from Robert again. Frank, the Secretary of State, Treasury, and Attorney General have to expatriate their U.S. citizenship. How does this play into the picture? Well, okay, this is not dissimilar to a question that I've been asked about green cards as well. Um, when you establish your role as a trustee of a superior trust, you have the same status as a country, as a foreign entity, okay? You, 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 you are the government of a country of one. That's the best way of explaining it. You are the government of a country of one. So that anything that they do with you strictly then becomes a matter of international law, okay? So I hope... Um, that answers that question. So, you know, someone then being arrested or deported or any of that, you're no longer under statutes, you're actually under uh, international law, okay? So I hope that answers that question, Robert. Um, all right, I'm going to, let's see, what else have we got? Um, all right, I'm going to wrap up now. I'm sorry I don't get all the questions done. I really thank those questions that were asked. I'm sorry we had a technical issue tonight about the um, uh, being able to get your, your voice on. I look forward to being able to hear from you on the next call. There was a lot of information tonight. I really hope you found what we spoke about tonight helpful. Uh, it is about you. It is about helping you. Uh, there is obviously a lot of information that people are saying, a lot of different information. I, I encourage people to read. I encourage people to ask questions, and most of all, I, I hope that this helps you. So thank you again, and uh, I look forward to, uh, to the next call next Thursday, and please let uh, as many people as you know know about it, and uh, all the best, and stay safe. Thank you, and I'm off. Bye-bye.